All right, guys, I'm back again with example two on our combined events, but now we are going to look at a tree diagram and we're going to use this example to draw a tree diagram and to use it to calculate the probabilities, okay? All right, the example that we have is <clears throat> a bag contained three um, balls, red balls, and two green balls. A ball is chosen at random, so you just, you know, for it to be fair, and then you shuffle, and then you pick a ball at random, and it is then replaced, remember, it is then replaced, remember we did an example of not replacing, but now it is replaced, and a second ball is then chosen again, so we are going to draw a tree diagram representing this and answering um, the questions that follow. But then, how do I represent this to start with? Let me just draw my tree diagram. Okay, so we have um, a red and we have a green, right? You have a red and you have a green. So what will be the probability of you for the first choice? This is the first choice. I'll call it the first choice. The first choice, what is the probability of getting a red? The probability of getting a red, we've got one, two, three. So we'll write it as three out of five, out of five. And what will be the probability of getting a green? The probability of getting a green will be two out of five. Two out of five, okay. So now, let's go to the second choice. The second choice would be, what will be the probability, the second choice, now you are choosing there and you are choosing there, right? So what will be the probability of choosing R and what will be the probability of choosing a green there? Remember you replaced. So if you replace, so the second probability will be the same because the total of the balls are still the same. So it will be st still, still be three, over five and of green you're still having the same number of balls inside and you are choosing a green so you're still going to have sorry two two over five and then you do the same thing here okay do the same thing there so now the probability of getting a red and the probability of getting a green okay so what is the probability of getting a red? The probability of getting a red, it's still three over five, right? Three over five. And the probability of getting a green is still two over five. And you understand that every time you try to, to, to choose or pick whatever, um, whichever ball that's inside, the number, the total number of balls is still the same. You are still having a three green, or three red and two green. Why? Because you are replacing. Every time you are replacing. So you replace, before you choose again, you replace. So that's why the probability of red is not going to change and the probability of green is not going to change. But then, how then do we use this information in, in probability? Okay, this is how we use it. So now, what will be the probability of getting a red and a red? Right? Getting a red and a red. So here we see that the probability of getting a red and G. So we have a probability of getting a red and green. So here we see we've got a probability of getting a green and red. Green and red. Here you've got the probability of getting a green and a green. Probability of getting a green and a green. So these are the questions that they are asking here. Let's go to the first question. It says, draw a tree diagram to show all possible combinations. So this will be the tree diagram of showing all possible combinations. You don't really need to write that part. But um, as you know, the other questions will be coming from this as well. You, it's, it will be advisable for you to just uh, have all these, okay? So these are the arms and 
the hands are those, but we are going to talk about that later. Let's look at the first question. It says, find the probability that both of them are red. Both of them are red. You get a red the first time and the red the second time. So remember what we said there. So the probability of getting a red and a red, what was my red here? It was three out of five multiplied by three out of five. By three out of five. So the probability there is nine out of 25. So what about the probability of getting a red and a green? Getting a red is three out of five. Getting a green is two out of five. So there it's six over 25. So what is the probability of getting a green and a red? So the probability there would be two out of five times three out of five, which is six over 25. And in most cases, these would be the same. Okay, um, what is the probability of getting a green and a green? Here they are. You're just listing what you have in your tree diagram. So you're having a two over five times a two over five, which is going to be um, a four over 25. And now these probabilities all together, they should add to one. They should add to one. When you add all of them, they should give you what? They should give you, they should give you one. All right? So, um, okay. So let's, let's answer the second question. What's the probability of getting uh, both red? So both red will be, will be that one. Both red, so that's your A there. That's your answer for A. Okay? And then probability of getting um, both green, both green will be, will be that one. That is your B. And the probability of getting uh, different color chosen. So now it's different colors. So what will be the probability of getting, you are getting um, RG and, and, and the probability of getting and G, GR. So there it will be six over 25. No, here it's not and, sorry people, it's all. Because, listen to the question, it says different color chosen. So you are either going to get RG or get um, GR, right? So there we add. So there is another term there, or another term which is very important. Or, if it's or, we add. If it's and, we multiply. So we are going to do more examples there. So that's why you are going to say 6 over 25 plus 6 over 25, which is 12 over, over 25. So that brings us to the end of our example two. And I'll make maybe two or three examples just to make us more familiar with this. But I'll give you examples using the exercise that you are go I'm going to give you right now. And you'll find it on Google Classroom.